I've made some notes from my and now presentation, part of a splam panel at the conference happening at UW Bothell this Thursday, the 20th, I'm sorry, this Friday, the 20th of uh, September 2019. And uh, we're talking about Cascadia by Anthology, and I'm going to talk about the two anthologies uh, that I was uh, chosen to discuss. One is 56 Days of August, Poetry Postcards, 2017, Five Oaks Press, and American Prophets, Interviews, 1994 to 2018, which came out last year, and we published through the Seattle Poetics Lab. A little bit of Splab history was founded in December of 1993 to produce and syndicate radio public affairs programs. We produce over 450 syndicated hours of programming, and since we stopped syndicating and stopped creating radio programs, we've produced over 150 hours of interviews. Um, we were drawn to whole systems approaches to issues in healing and other aspects of society. This led to an interest in consciousness, to poetry, bioregionalism, and other arcane and subversive, especially at the time, uh, subjects. Uh, we were able to sneak in to our program because the programs aired at really bad times, 6, 7 a.m. Sunday morning, midnight, Sunday night, that kind of thing. Some of the subjects from 25 years ago, same-sex marriage, indigenous culture, animal rights, and things that were ahead of their time. Speaking of bioregionalism, Peter Berg was one of the main early proponents of bioregionalism, we did an interview with him in the early 90s, and some of the things he said about uh, his stance toward living, bioregionalism, was, one, after the construction of the first iron bridge in England, he says Western consciousness has been dominated by the idea of taking natural systems apart for their ingredients and then reassembling the ingredients to make other things, a chemical trick that has been enormously powerful, not successful, he says, because the end product is garbage. The end product of the cars and refrigerators is a landfill or a dump. He calls consumer identity soft shoe planet murder. He suggested re-inhabitation, a stance, with a stance which asks us to reimagine ourselves in the places where we live in ecological terms and to harmonize human activities with the natural systems that sustain life. And he talked about emergent new localisms and the 100 mile diet eat local craft beer and spirits and many other manifestations of this notion have happened since he talked about it 30 years ago it took splab 25 years but an anthology which came out in time for our 25th anniversary celebration in december of last year american prophets not an anthology per se but a group of interviews with different people it's also uh, the URL of our landing page for interviews, AmericanProfits.org. Uh, in the book are transcribed interviews with Rupert Sheldrake, Gene Houston, Larry Dossie, Jerome Rothenberg, Allen Ginsberg, Ann Waldman, Sam Hamill, Michael McClure, Brenda Hillman, Nate Mackey, Phyllis Curat, Bhagavan Das, E. Richard Atlio, Beaver Chief, Wanda Coleman, and others. And the poetics that came out of these interviews is open, spontaneous, partial to the projective or organic, also partial to serial form. This brings us uh, to the evolution of the anthology 56 Days of August, Poetry Postcards, and the project that spawned it, the August Poetry Postcard Fest, which celebrated its 13th year in 2019 and had 424 participants from all over the world. So the, the fest was it is about writing poetry to strangers uh, spontaneously on postcards in a first take. So it's uh, part organic form, it's part calligraphy, it's part seriality, and um, it's becoming a more popular project and a fundraiser of Splab since the registration fee is 10 bucks. I like to think of the interviewing aspect of this work and potential future interview anthologies as akin to the work of a bioregional Sudana to take a figure out of Hua Hien Buddhism, a man who traveled and interviewed, I think it was 52 different enlightened people, and at the end became enlightened himself. Not expecting the same outcome, but also not expecting to be the Jose Marti of Cascadia, somewhere in the middle. Um, the Bioregional Cultural Investigation of Cascadia includes the interviews and events like the Cascadia Poetry Festival, which will happen on San Juan Island, May 1 through 3, 2020, and be in part a tribute to Robin Blazer, and in part a look at the practice of Cascadia 
the practice of the self. I'd love to see a book come out of next year's festival. There are other projects as well, but I'm going to leave it to some of the other uh, panel members to talk about some of the other anthologies and be happy to discuss any aspect of this uh, during the uh, Q&A.